Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So we made it through the big mothership palettes and I've got all of them done and ranking them. And now I've moved on to the six pan palettes. And as far as I can see on the Pabagrath site, the two Bridgerton palettes are still available. And this one here, which is the mothership uh, Rose Decadence is still available on her site. And it looks like this. So it's a very pretty palette. I think it's $65. I think. I'm pretty sure. I better make sure though, huh? Before I just say a price. Yep, $65. And it's kind of goes with the rosy themes that I've been seeing. So, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad palette to purchase. I know Mother's Day is coming. It's got beautiful packaging, the roses and stuff. So, all in all, and if you wanted to try her formula, it would be a good palette to start with also. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using my refer brushes. And the first shade we're going to go into is Peach Dusk. I was, I mean, I could have done the Bridgerton ones, but I just did those, so I didn't feel like to start with them, you know. I kind of thought I'd end with them, since I just did videos on them. But this one here, since it is available still for sale, this is the one that I was like, well, I'll go for sure and do this one. Because I have several of the six pan palettes um, that have been released. I think the only ones I don't have are the Star Wars ones. However, I do have those shades. It's just in the 2020 Christmas collection she released in the big palette. So I do have them, but not in the six pan. So I was like, well, I'm not going to review those because I don't even have them. And I don't know if you can find it on eBay or anything like that even. So, I don't shop through those. Or pos maybe even Poshmark, I don't know. I don't ever shop anything except for like Sephora, Ulta, Beautylish, you know, somewhere that's, you know, I know it's coming from some, somebody, in a sense. But I really like this color here. Like for me, I can put this shade down and then I'm just put a shimmer on my lid and be done, to be honest with you. But, I mean, we're not going to do that, obviously. This is the look we're going to do on this eye. Because I want to use more than just, you know, one or two shades, obviously. That way you can see them and stuff. But you can see that it definitely can be built up. It blends out nicely. Like, I don't have any issues. I really don't have any issues with, like, performance-wise, you know what I mean? It's really, if it's your color story, I mean, that's all it really boils down to when it comes to Pat McGrath. I'm going to put that same shade on my lower lash line. With all of her palettes, it's, they're, the, like... As far as performance, you're going to get what you pay for. It's just finding the correct color story. Because it is expensive, you, you want a color story that you're going to use. Unless you're just going to sit there and look at it like I do. And just go, wow, that's really pretty. But this palette here, it's nice because it you can be very subtle with it. Or you can very well build it up. You know what I mean? I don't like palettes like that. I believe when I reviewed this, I said that it was one of my favorites even. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go into the darker shade. There is only two mattes in this palette out of the six. We're going to go into he he didn't. <laughs> Why do they got to put names like this? Hedonistic, hedonistic rose. I feel like that's in a palette already. But you do have to watch that also. Keep that in mind too. That some shades could be in other palettes. But we're just going to darken up the outer portion here. Now I have hooded eyes, so hooded, downturned. One's downturned, one's not. One's more hooded than the other. It's an interesting balance I have going on over here with my eyes. And it does make it hard doing one eye at a time. But it, it takes me so long sometimes that I just don't want to waste anybody's time. But I do want you to see how it performs in case you're a beginner like myself. Like, if you're going to spend that kind of money on something, you want to be able to use it. want to really make sure I've got it the same darkness on both eyes. And I like this brush too, a lot. I didn't realize it until recently how much I like this brush by refer. Okay, I'm going to take that same shade on the lower lash line, and I'm going to run it right up on my lashes. As close as I can get. And I like this pencil uh, brush by Refer also for that. Like, you can be very precise with this brush. I do like that. Okay. Then I'm going to go into the shade Fuchsia Flame. And I do like this shade. Wait till you see it. It's really pretty. We'll pop it on the lid. And I'm not going to wet it. And I like this brush also. Because you can also be very precise with it. And it really lays down these shimmers nicely. Shimmers, metallics, it doesn't really matter. This brush is really good for all of it. When laying something down on the lid. And I didn't put anything down this time. Like her artistry wand or anything, or spray. Because I just wanted you to see like what it does on its own. I have my uh, MAC Painterly Paint Pot on. That's what I use as my base, but other than that, I got nothing on there holding it. And now I'm just gonna, now that I got it laid on, I'm just gonna 
tap in one to really build it up and give us that shine. And of course, if you, like I said, did wet it, it would become much more in your face. like I brought that darker shade in a little more. Like that. Then for inner corner, I went into pink champagne, and I did spray my brush on this one. And it's just a, it's a Sigma brush. And I just popped it on my inner corner here. Then I was sitting here just looking at the palette and I decided to take the golden honey. It's like a metallic gold, I guess. And I just sprayed a liner brush and I ran that across my lower lash line and top lash line just to see what it would do. can kind of see it. Uh, I don't want to get too much on it because I know me and I'll have a mess. And I'm just barely like touching it. Or run it right up against my lash line. kind of got a little thick there but then I'm going to do the same thing for the lower lash line oh I guess I'm out of frame too huh let me use this mirror If I don't get right up on it, like I can't see nothing. I ain't wearing my glasses and stuff. So you can kind of see this lined a little bit on each one. This one's a little thicker, kind of messed up on it a little bit, but that's okay. No big deal there. But it's not like you can't really see it that like bam in your face type of thing but i just wanted to see what it do just to try it you know nothing more than that and then i use this mascara which sucks 
I, I don't even understand this much here. It's by uh, Da Vinci Disturbia. And I'm, I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but this wand, it's a rubber wand, but it is just so weird looking and it does absolutely nothing for my lashes. Not a thing. Now it hasn't transferred so far. So that's something I guess. Because I did just go ahead and put this on my bottom and top lashes. Because I just wanted to see what it would do. Because I thought, well, maybe I'll use it for bottom. But no, I wouldn't use this for nothing, to be honest. But at least it's a sample size and or travel, whatever. So I'm not out that much, but I do not recommend this one at all. I don't even know who, why I tried it, to be honest. And it does have a very, like, perfumey smell. So, if you don't like smells, you're probably not going to like this either. I'm not a fan of smell when it comes to, you know, certain things, because I can get a headache. But, I really can't smell this once I put it away. I mean, to me, it almost makes my lashes look so much smaller. I mean, it is very black. And it does separate. But, I don't know. I just don't think it does any good technically for my lashes, just saying. But like I said, it hasn't transferred or anything so far. It has flaked a little bit if I've messed with it, but other than that, it's all it's done. not advised to buy this but anyway this is the final look using this palette again you can still purchase this palette I love this palette I really do I like it a lot um but look today's okay and you kind of are in a sense going to have you know because if you use that darker shade it's always going to be you know like a more rosy purplish tone look, you know, and a lot of her palettes are like that, you know what I mean, they are, but I do like this one, and like I said, I love the packaging for Mother's Day, I mean, I think it'd be pretty if your mom likes this sort of stuff, or if you just wanted to buy yourself your Mother's Day present, but this is what it looks like again, very pretty, love it, like it is my tone, so, but so I got for you. So we're going to start ranking these. Again, there's only three available, still available on like the actual website. So, but you may be able to find them as we go through them online. But I do have quite a few of the six pan palettes. Actually, I think there's like six, six to nine I have. So I do not, like I said, though, I do know I don't have the two star war ones. So but that's all I got for you today. I hope this helped a little bit. And if you do want to purchase it, you can go to Pat McGrath's uh, website. And it is available for $65. But other than that, that's all I got for you today. I'll see you in my next video. And stay safe 
and stay healthy. Bye.